I have so many questions that I need some answers about the new fusion unit that we got because of the new orbs from the Star Pass tier 100. For those beginner players, this is not the very first fusion units that we got. And of course, guys, it was really a bomb last time. So obviously, if this is going to be trash, then most likely, guys, ACD players will rage. And I think that the developers don't want that to happen. But anyway, guys, as you guys can see, we are on the extreme infinite mode. And I'm just going to clean up the map because the very first thing that I wanted to check, guys, is... How's the placement gonna be? As you guys can see, we have here Naruto with one upgrade. So that's also something. I mean, would the upgrade also matter? I'm not really sure. So let's try and place our Sasuke now. Oh, actually, we are still in times two, so I better put it in times one just for us to make sure that we're not missing anything. Okay, so Sasuke in three, two, one. There you go. So it seems that it followed Sasuke's placement, but probably it's just gonna follow the second unit that we placed. Who knows? So let's try another one and let's place another here. Oh, you can only... Oh, I see. So is this already damaging? All right. Uh, okay. Just gonna wait for these units to actually reach this unit. I mean, I can actually see Spawn Samurai Beast. Kind of feels like a Kakashi type of manual unit where you can actually ride it. But let's see. Yeah, look at that, guys. So this unit alone will not damage anything. So that means we need to spawn. Oh, this looks sick. All right, let me just control it. Okay, and turn on the attack effects, I guess. And that was a slash without an effect. Ah, oh, yeah, probably they didn't place uh, an effect just to make sure that it's not going to be laggy. Oh, I actually tried it out in my previous video. What's the name of this form? So people are saying it's an armored Kurama or majestic attire suit. I'm not really sure, guys. But yeah, <laughs> thanks so much for answering my question in my previous video about Sasuke. So the SPA of this unit, wait, wait a second. Yeah, because we also need to upgrade it, right? So the SPA of this unit will be six. The dash will be 21,420. The HP of these mobs are what? Yeah, the HP of these mobs are still not 20k plus and I actually wanted to check if the attack of this monster in front of us will also deal some burning damage like the black flames damage. Alright guys, we were 36 and I think that they should now be able to sustain my damage. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Okay, it's about time. Will it actually cause black flames? Ooh, I mean, I'm just going to zoom in on the editing, guys, but I cannot see any Black Flames damage here. So that is good to know. So even though our Sasuke supposedly is going to give like a Black Flames on its placement, it seems that it's not going to be doing the same thing here for our Armored Kurama. As you guys can see, there's no Black Flames damage here. So I guess it's about time for us to actually check its scope or its range. It does says that the priority is full AoE. So we also need to check out if that's actually correct. So I'm just gonna face this one. Are they getting any damage? No, they're not getting any damage guys. So even though it says full AOE, I kind of think that it's gonna be like a, a semi AOE cone. Probably gonna be the same thing as the swipe of his samurai sword. So yeah, it was not really that bad because you guys can see without any upgrade guys, at we were 42, we can still kill them because we can control them basically. And that's really good. And keep in mind guys that you still can actually place some more Naruto's and also some more Sasuke's. For his next upgrade, that's gonna be 500,000. 578,340 damage, very much needed. There we go. And I think that we will be able to one clap all of these mobs. Look at that, guys. Time to clean up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not really that hyped, guys, because I think that this was already kind of like really, really expected by the whole community. But I was just not expecting for it to be kind of like Kakashi Six Star Ultimate. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think that that's actually really, really cool. Look at that. Oh, my God. Wait, how can I? <laughs> <laughs> How would I be able to enter my Kurama? All right, you know what? Let's just move on to his next upgrade. 750,000. That's going to give him 1.07 million damage. There we go. And that is if I will be... Oh, boy. This is a problem. Why did I... Oh, man. This is something that they actually need to change, I think. Oh, boy. Can I change my... Oh, no. I cannot change my mount. Bro, we're actually going to die. Holy crap, dude. 
Okay, just gonna max out one Naruto for the meantime. I need to get into my Kurama. Come on. How would I be able to do that? No freaking way. I cannot even use him now. Can I sell him? No, I can't. I can't sell him. Oh, bruh. Okay, this is a very valuable lesson to everyone. Make sure that you are not going to place your Kurama and leave it anywhere. Because for some reason, he can actually be suspended in the air. Look at that. And there's just no free. Oh, man. <laughs> yep, no matter what I do, I think I got to re- Oh, boy, that really sucks. That sucks so bad. God, this is making me rage. Hi, right, guys, I'm back. Oh, my God, my poor mouse just got smashed. <laughs> <laughs> that made me rage. So, okay, just a quick recap, guys. The placement of the fusion unit of Sasuke and also Naruto will follow Sasuke's positioning. And at the same time, after you place him, it will actually retain Naruto. So it's okay for you to even use your Naruto to defend your units. As you guys can see, I just placed like one Sasuke and my Naruto is still here. So only Sasuke will actually disappear. But of course, you can still place like another Sasuke if you wanted to without any problem after that. Because you can only place like literally one of this. And of course, guys, just a warning. Do not leave your pet unattended because well as I guess I've seen earlier he can actually just be stuck in the air so do not jump as much as possible guys do not jump so that you can make sure that you can still use it on his third upgrade 1.07 million for 750,000 there we go it's also important guys to take note what's gonna be the cost of this unit because I mean remember guys Sasuke alone will already cost you like 6 million and if this armored Kurama will not have a black flames obviously guys having a max out Sasuke would actually make your dps a lot lot better especially if you'll be able to you know spread the black flames at the same time so i'm just estimating that it already costed us like 2.5 million in total and oh okay wow dude this is not even the final upgrade of this unit pretty sure that it already costed us like three three million or more and on its next upgrade it's gonna cost us another three million and that's not even the end oh my god okay you know what let's make it faster anyway guys we now have enough cash three million so now its damage will be at not even buffed yet nine million one hundred sixty seven thousand seven hundred sixty guys second to the max look oh my bro are you guys gonna give us a new money tower like what i'm pretty sure that it will cost you like 11 million or more oh my god so i need to save up for another five freaking million bruh all right guys finally oh my god at wave number 49 you should be able to max out your samurai beast and oh actually not that one all right there you go and its max damage will be 17 million seven hundred thirty-five thousand seven hundred sixty. and i'm still not sure guys if that would be able to you know cause some black flames but i bet it's not otherwise it's gonna be really really too op all right here we go guys together with a full max out buff look at oh my god Whew, 62 freaking million 75,160 damage that's per six seconds guys and i don't think that the additional six range would actually be easy to notice especially if you are riding him it's just gonna be very minimal even though it is really affecting its range but it's very important to note guys that he will not be able to hit anything behind him so if you actually want him to damage something you actually need to face them which kind of makes sense in a way but um yeah kakashi is not doing that although kakashi is kind of like throwing some shurikens you know what i'm saying and our armored kurama is actually using a sword so that's probably the reason why but bro with that damage every six seconds everything would be worth it as you guys can see only at wave 58 guys i have another 3.2 million so that means i can actually just continue upgrading my sasuke because his black claims later together with brooks buff will also help me a lot yep it is really possible guys look at that wave number 66 i now got two million plus and that's gonna give me a maxed out sasuke probably gonna place its priority to i don't know maybe strongest and obviously that will help our dps a lot lot more and of course we will have some excess cash which can also be used again to probably uh an auto i guess i'm not really sure um i mean maybe another sasuke would be also good but yeah, he's just so expensive. So if you're not gonna be maxing him out, then you will not have this kind of range either. So I think that putting your money to Naruto after having like one max out Sasuke would actually be a lot, lot better. But yeah, I mean, at this point, our armored Kurama doesn't even need our Sasuke's help. He still can one clap all of these units at wave number 69. So 
Yep. Unbelievable. This star pass is really insane, guys.